Greetings. I am Takur. Takur, welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you. It is good to be here. Ah, there are many people here already. What is it that you would like me to speak about? Takur, there was a message from Ish to a couple days ago. Do you have any short updates on that? Ah, you mean about your atmosphere and timeline? Timeline, yeah. Things are moving forward in a positive way. Uh, many of you have taken action, and there are some that are fighting against this activity because they want the timeline to fail. But this timeline must succeed for a greater success in the galaxy. There are those that would say this timeline must fail so that we might get a better one. But there will not be a better one. And this one is... With it, you have to understand with timelines, they are not ruled by other beings, but God rules the timelines. Nobody, no species can rule a timeline as far as grabbing hold of it and taking charge. They can do what they have done. Humans have damaged it, that is true, but they cannot take it over as far as the timeline is concerned. They can take over your planet, but that is not the entire timeline. So be wary. Do help us to bring your planet back into a healthy place. And there are many of you that are doing that, and we appreciate it. But do not believe those that have negative messages about this timeline being uh, ruled by the outside. It's, it's not true. Thank you. Uh, so now switch it to the class matter. Karen, do you have a question? Yes. Yeah. Hi, Tucker. It's Karen. Hi. Hello, Karen. Um, Good to see you. Hi. Good to see you too. Um, I do have a question about the timelines because um, I'm shifting all over the place here. Correct. And I th did we did we have another shift yesterday? Because there was many something... shifts, and let me tell you why. Uh, on the twenty mm. fifth, it came to a head. Around the twenty first, yeah, there, the there was a twenty. Around the twenty first or second, there was an event in Antarctica that uh, caused the timeline to be what they called ionized. It's that's okay. not the correct term, but it's the closest that we can use. And it's it makes a lot of people who are very fourth dimensional shift around a little bit. And you are very sensitive to these time shifts. And on the twenty fifth. It all came to a head, and the total timeline was under this ionized process or whatever you want to call it. Now, yeah, I had. Since, oh, go ahead. Yeah, since then we've been trying to uh, help your planet, but your beings are the ones that have done this damage, so they must undo it. And so many of your scientists have come together to try to help uh, with this problem. There, there are some things that they are doing that are helping. And with the humans that are also helping, it is helping to clear the negativity out of the atmosphere. I had a, um, I had one on Thursday. I had something happen on Sunday and on yes. Monday where there were significant shifts. And then I think even yesterday. Yes. There and and just, just as a silly example, but... I had received a letter from Toyota to go and test drive a Prius. This is crazy. To test drive a Prius. And even I read the letter to Wendy yesterday, and we were laughing about driving in a Prius. And then when I got to the place today, they said, no, it's not a Prius, it's a Yaris. And I went back in the letter, and it said Yaris. And I promised you yesterday, <laughs> it said I, I was supposed to ride in a Prius. <laughs> and I'm like... There are some oh things like this happening and will continue <laughs> to happen like this. And they will go back and forth. Uh, you may read it two days from now and it may say Prius again. So um, yeah. okay. the things are bouncing around inside. Let me also explain this. Many of you uh, visit other timelines in your astral also for different reasons, for different positive uh, reinforcements and things of that nature. Well, now you are not going to other timelines, but you are going bouncing back into 
uh, timelines you were in before in your memories and learning more about those visitations, but it's not new visitations. Right. So, yes, sort of, it's very, it's a bouncy time, yes. Thank you. Is this going to stabilize anytime soon? Well, or... they're working on that. I cannot tell you the answer to that because only the humans know the answer to that completely. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, it's, it's, I mean, I, I hope we're shifting into a more positive situation. Well, um, the, the Syrians were allowed to come and help, but they, have any of you heard that the Syrians came and collected some of the cabal? Oh, no. No. This is what has happened. They, the Syrians were sent from the galactic uh, law enforcement to collect and question cabal members because they are the ones that caused the accident. Oh, wow. Okay. There's also, I don't know if you know, but there's a 13-year-old physicist that's on YouTube right now, and he actively acknowledges that uh, in CERN they... Um, they reduced the weight of one molecule, and he says that shifted our timeline. And he says this is accepted within the scientific community. People know it. It, it, that, it did not uh, shift it enough to make it inadequate. Exactly. But he it, said it, it just shifted correct. like one over. Yeah. Yes, he is correct. However, the thing that happened in Antarctica was enough to ionize or put a field around your timeline that is not healthy. And it does affect CERN, the hy hydro collider that is under um, Switzerland. That is, has been affected, yes. I, I will say I, all the stuff he was saying was really interesting and I went back and uh, I listened to an old channeling from Theos and Theos basically described it the same way he did. So it was a yes. good confirmation coming from spiritual world and the scientific world. But Exactly. Yeah. It is confirmation. Okay. Yes, it is not a secret. So I can actually tell you, affirm that that is correct. Okay, thank you. It actually didn't change the timeline as much as the space within the timeline. Does that make sense to you? Mm. Well, can I, I just, I don't want to take too much of your time, but I've had all kinds of weird stuff. Like this yes. is, I, for instance, when I first moved to the Netherlands 17 years ago, I had a friend who had a son that was just born. And I remember him talking to me and he was ex upset because he was breaking up with his wife and he was worried about, you know, having to raise his son and all these things. And wouldn't you know it, about a month ago I talked to him. His son is now 14. And his son was born. <laughs> and I'm just like, How okay. How is that possible? But yes. How is it possible? How yes. is it possible? And there's a lot of things like that. I've, I have had a lot of things. There's a house on my block that the first time I jumped timelines, which is about three years ago, that had completely changed. It went to a different color. It had a different outer thing. Um, there's just a lot of really yes. significant things. And normally when we shift, I feel really nauseated and I wake up and I hear, you've shifted timelines. But now it's happening so much it's, it's, uh, it's like, probably you, I'm like, yeah. Not a pro yes, I understand that completely. A lot of mm -hmm. fourth dimensional people are experiencing different kinds of anomalies. That one is different than you may talk to someone else that is moving between the timelines quite frequently. You might talk to someone else that uh, the, those Mandela effects are numerous. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You might talk to somebody and find that they are just really weak and depressed or they, their energy has been zapped completely out of their body almost because the, this timeline is draining them. So it's, yeah. it depends on how you're connected to the timeline, what it's doing to you. Well, I've, I've just come out of that of a very like tiring time and, and, yes. and having like so I've sort of popped back into my power again. But yes. just and to give you another example, 
Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, just to give you another example of something that happened, um, but it's been now a year, is that I was standing in the living room and I was watching some video on uh, on, on spirituality or, or something, and I just came in with my dogs. I was standing there, and as I stood there, I felt very nauseated. And, and, and even my dog was like looking up at the ceiling and I felt really, I had to hold on to the chair. I felt so dizzy. And I, uh, <laughs> I said, oh, okay. I, and I heard you've shifted timelines and I said, all right. So I went to my kitchen to get some, I thought I'm going to make myself some tea. So I walked to the dishwasher. I opened the dishwasher. I took out a cup. I filled it with water. I walked to the microwave to put the water in the microwave and when I opened the water, the microwave, there was a cup of hot steaming water. <laughs> and yeah. I, I, so I, and I stood there and I looked at it, and I was like, "How is this possible?" And I put my hand in, and I thought, "This is not possible." And I dipped my hands in the water, and it was really, really hot. And, yes. and I just said, "What in the hell?" You know. So I thought, okay, I've shifted timelines. I just, um, and so now when I hear you've shifted timelines, I always look around to see what is different because there's yes. something that's different. It's so and close, are, but not, you know? And there are those uh, beings that would have uh, high fourth dimensional people monitored for the sake of uh, science because they want to see what they go through so you may be mo be being monitored by other species not that they have any equipment on you but they may be nearby yeah. checking you out well that's fine but you know maybe they could make me dinner or something <laughs> instead of just giving me I hot doubt water they will do that but I will suggest <laughs> it. no but what I think is I jumped forward and backward I think I jumped it I jumped forward in t yes. on the timeline I went, I'm gonna I went at least a few minutes in the in the future because I know that for the water to be that hot it would have had to heat at least two minutes in the microwave and I had okay. just come in from being out with the dogs there's no way the water was that temperature and I hadn't put water in there the, the, the right. idea to drink the tea came after I sh shifted and not before so yeah, but I've had stuff like that going on, and um, yeah, I, 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 it doesn't scare me. I just, I, what I'm hoping is that we're shifting into a, a more positive place and that the, the sort of energy that is propelling us forward is moving us into a place where we can get back into balance because we, you know, kind of at the time of the election, it all went all squirrely, but uh, exactly. I'd, like to get, I, I'd like to get back into that positive spot. Well, we will do that as quickly as possible. Or your Thank people you. will do that as quickly as possible. I see great promise in restoring the timeline if people continue to do what they are doing. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. I know that there is a question out there somewhere about a timeline, a, a channeling, channeling question. Hello. Okay. Yes. Oh my goodness. Can you hear me next? Yes. Shakur, it's Wendy. Hello. Okay. I wanted to find out uh, about the meeting. How yes. did that You're going show on. Up? Yes. Was I present because I don't remember anything? <laughs> uh, that is all right. Most people do not remember, the, and they do exactly what you do, ask if they were there. But, yes, many of you have shown up. And many uh, people mm -hmm. are speaking, well, are going to speak, I should say. Saturdays when the humans start to speak, and they will speak for a number of hours. Okay. And the main topic um, the, 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 was also this timeline discussed, what's going on here. There are and many, many different topics. The topic that is being discussed right at the moment is disclosure yes yes because um a lot of people are still not believing that that you all are out there and th they have uh a lot of the really the public that i'm mixing with don't really understand the come about so why uh why you all are there more so have a hard time <laughs> believing 
uh, the existence of you all. And it's it's not the well, fact that I don't tell them that you all the thing is, do, but they have that look of awe. And if you would tell them this. Highest point. Tell them if they were to seek, they will find evidences everywhere. On, online and on different things and then when they find that evidence they will say it's not real because your the powers that be yes, have planted in humans that there is false news everywhere and this is to their advantage because they want you not to believe in the things that are out there so that they may can maintain control and have you frightened to believe anything really except what they say understood and then there's one more last thing is there a way how uh to the mechanics of other beings that you know who are very um using them and even the sun can possibly uh use you are breaking up. That will help people not to. Can anyone understand what she is saying? No, she's breaking up for everyone. You're really breaking up. I could not understand you at all. Are there any other questions? I'm sorry, you did break up quite severely. Yes, I have a question channeling to Kurt. I'm sorry. Oh, there it is. Yes? Um, I have a, a question on channeling. Yes. Uh, on, on the channeling, um, when I'm trying to go into a meditation, I'm always um, itching and scratching. And yes, they're trying to... They, they're trying to divert your attention and distract you in any way possible so that you cannot get into a, a good state of comfort or relaxation, calmness. So what it is, is that before you even try to do this, pray that they will, uh, pray to God that he will protect you and surround you and this itchiness, all these distractions will not be there. This is a sign to me that you have great potential because they would not be trying to distract you otherwise. There must be some kind of message or someone that's unique to you that wants to come through that they don't want to come through. Okay. okay. Um, is uh, listening to um, Om Chance, um, is that a distraction or would that um, no, help? No, actually that would not be considered a distraction to me. But if it distracts you, then just put on something very soft or cover your ears with something so you cannot be distracted by sounds. It's the itching, and the, like right now, where, can't sit. Where are you still. itching at? Um, it'll be the leg, back of the neck, it'll be here, it'll be the arm, it'll be my back. You know. But you don't I mean, usually uh, itch any other time. Um, whenever, no. Yes, they, they're distracting you. Okay. Who are they? Whoever is wanting to stop her from channeling. Now, do you know who you are going to be channeling? Well, actually, I'm just trying to, I'm just at the first stage of meditating or um, sitting still for, um... You see if they can distract you and get you to a point where you give up trying to channel, then that will be their biggest success. But do not let this happen. Pray that you are itching, that you will be able to find your space so that you may concentrate and become relaxed and concentrate. Okay. Okay. I will help okay. you one-on-one -on -one if necessary. Oh, okay. My friend is here. Beautiful friend, <laughs> a relative of the Lyran culture. Yes, <laughs> yes, I think he's the one that um, you tried to talk to once, and um, oh yes, 
She likes to headbutt me. Yes. She likes to. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Let's take the last question and then uh, we have to let Jim go. Is there any uh, more questions? Hello, yeah. hello, Tucker. Angela, how are you? Hi, I'm very well. Thanks, and you, Tucker. It's good I'm to hear well. you. I have a, a, a different question, yet it's on channeling. I have been teaching channeling. Yeah. And um, I have one particular student that has a chip, a channeling software. Now, I'm not sure, but is there a difference in their, that approach with that channeler? Is there something, is there a different technique that, that they need to go through, or are they, are they normal just like all of us? I did not hear what they had. Oh, sorry. Uh, he's got a chip, a channeling uh, chip in his head. Oh, a chip in his brain. Right, right. This um, is... That is for aliens only. And let me explain why he has a chip. It is right. because aliens use technology and sometimes they will chip someone so that they can channel through them more easily or open the brain up in that area to their particular brand of uh, translation, if you will. Okay. I uh, see. But, I know, you can train him like everyone else, except that he has an right. advantage with whatever species or whatever group of aliens has done this for him. All right, excellent. Thank you. Would I need that software as well? You may ask for it. The different species may uh, say yes or no. If you need it, they may give it to you. If there's someone that really wants to be very clear and um, very, very, very uh, precise. They may chip someone. This individual here oh. asked for a chip, and we gave it to him from Gurkfik Nir. And uh, because we wanted our messages to be as clear as possible, and he is fine with all other species as well. They seem to be happy. They can use the chip in some ways also but not the same way we do. All right. They can well, use it. Um, if, I, yeah, if I need to be chipped, I don't mind. It's not something that I have a, a hang-up over. They will take it into consideration. Okay. Thank you very much. That's all for me. Thanks. Very well. Have a wonderful day. Yes, you too. Thank you. I w must go now. From what uh, Max has said, that was the last question. Uh, because Jim needs his time. <laughs> wonderful. Thank I you will have for coming. A, have a wonderful day, everyone. And no more stay. Thank you. Love you, you too. Yes, love you all as very well. Thank you.